mouth that um, took a bit of effort but it got them out and uh, didn't take me as long as I thought actually so I'm going to cut these off so that it gives me two clean sides and no join in the middle for when I coil use coils to um, to use for the cinch machine so I will have to so I have got rid of some of the some of the, the um, golf warning but not most of it's still there so with the so it would look like that and then the cinch machine the, the, the things will go that so I just need to sort of um, reinforce this side with either some material or um, some paper I'll just decide that in a minute I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so what I normally do with my gold book journals is keep the signatures, signatures intact so the story sort of flows so we're going to sort of do some pages in between. So this is from a uh, big Peter Rabbit. This is, this is illustrated by Beatrix Potter. So this one, I'm going to fold it in half and put it in here. So it'll be a page of the story, something different, page of the story. Got some blue paper because Peter Rabbit wears a blue jacket. And I will trim them up to fit, to let them fit after. So I like to put out different things in there. So I'll do that later. You can see the signatures, signatures are not very big. I chose this one because it's got a sort of like a country kind of feel. And I'll take that bit off the top. It's blue. So that's that one. That's one signature. For the, sig for the middle bit need a page in the middle so I'll think about that maybe I could um, I've got some Peter Rabbit envelopes some Peter Rabbit to, and writing paper to go with it so maybe I could uh, do the writing paper on that bit and because there's a cinch machine I might do the flip out a flip out kind of thing on there, but the trouble is if I do that, I'll be covering up um, this beautiful page. So I'll put that there and think about it, how I'm going to put that in. Do that together, because even though this, do I want to put the two together or differently? Hmm, I'll see. Anyway, so maybe this one can be some green paper match the green of the vegetables. I'll do it this way. That goes. And next page. Maybe that's where the envelope can go. Look at how that envelope's gonna go somehow. We need. we need a big page from the same book that I had before. I've chosen the cats there, I know, but I'm going to cover it over. But again, because it's got that country sort of feel. And I'll probably go back and put some more more pages and papers in because it needs a bit, a bit of padding out. So I could do two in between each. See, yeah, that's what the envelope is in there, isn't it? So we could just put the page in there anyway, because the envelope can go on the page. So we can do this blue one. If you want to do a small page, yes, just do a small page. It's because there's a bit of white here, so what else have I got? more colour paper. Do it this way around this time. So the colour bit is in the middle. So 
Let's have a look what we've got. The greens there. That's the end of the book. So, just need a bit more paper, I think. We've got this Beatrix Potter story. So, we might just do paper. I chose this one because I thought the colours, like if you look at the cover, there's the red, there's yellow, there's blue. Um, and there's um, green, obviously, because I thought that sort of matched quite nicely with that. So, in fact, that breaks up um, the two stories, gives them a bit of a break from each other. Could be a bit of overkill, really, having two lots of stories. <laughs> what else have I got? I've got one of those, one of those, one of those. The other Beatrix polished bit. Let me put that in there somewhere. So because it's continuing on, let me put it. I want to put the one story in the one book in the one book, like the whole, and choose another Peter Rabbit story for the other one. Possibly, otherwise it could be a bit disjointed. If you know what I mean. pages there already. What have I got here? Just the one page. So I might put another bit just put a bit here from the big book. And because I've got to I've just realized I've got to try I've got to cut all the pages off anyway. Mm. Anyway, yes, of course you do, okay? Because it's not making a journal journal like with the pages like that. You've got to, everything's got to be cut because you're making a different kind of journal. Why didn't you think of that? I don't know, okay? Why didn't you think of that? So I'm folding them in half, and I don't need to really. What we could do, so I know what I'm doing what I'm up to and do the tedious bit of cutting them in half so I know what I'm up to. I've forgotten the, the story, so people do sometimes um, number the pages so they know what they're doing. Do I want to do that? I could do that, couldn't I? So I don't get confused. Let me just put that to one side over there and hopefully I won't get confused. Hope you are all well. Um, I'm doing this on the on a Sunday. I've just had a really lovely this morning. Had a really lovely family gathering, like our extended family, because um, not that we have much of an extended family. Like I think I've told you the story before. My mum and dad and my sister and I came to Australia when I was seven and she was, my sister was five in 1962 from Wales and um, I had, my husband and I had two daughters and she had two sons so like she had a son, I had a daughter, she had another son and I had another daughter so in four years we had them really all close together. And they've all got married, and um, uh, the eldest, uh, my sister's eldest, he's got a son, and then uh, who's eight, and now expecting a daughter in March. And then my eldest daughter has a daughter who's five, and then. 
My sister's younger son doesn't have any children. And my youngest daughter has two, two boys, uh, seven and um, eight. And so, and then my cousin came from Sydney with her partner. And we had a lovely time. It was really chatty and that's the only family we have in Australia, just my mum and dad and our family there and my cousin in Sydney and her partner and that's the um, family we have in Australia. So it's really lovely when we get together. We don't do it heaps of times but it's enough times that we have a really lovely time when we are together. It's always full of fun and laughter and the kids all get on with each other. Um, my eldest uh, nephew, his son, has got um, uh, cerebral palsy and so that um, he cannot sort of move around by himself really, he needs some help but um, he can communicate and we always have, you know, like he gets on really well with the other kids which is really lovely, it's really lovely, they all play together on the floor because they're all happily playing on the floor them today together so that's always really nice oh is that the middle is that the middle oh, i don't know if that's the middle now it needs to fit in the book so sometimes i have to trim off the um the uh, edges if you know what I mean. What am I doing here? Nice wrap, it's a cat. I'm doing fine, all right. That goes there, and that goes there. It's funny, the other one went really smoothly, and this one I'm getting a bit um, confused. I'm not sure why. The illustrations in this are really, look at that lovely tomato plant, doesn't it look fabulous? But the illustrator in this one, she sometimes, she has quite a few pictures of Peter Rabbit without his um, waistcoat on, but I think it's because he lose, loses his waistcoat in the story. Because Mr McGregor hung up the black jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow. <laughs> There's a film, well, there was a film, wasn't there, recently, Peter Rabbit? I haven't seen the film. Envelope. I don't know what it's like. It was an animated recent film. I don't really, isn't it funny, I don't really know a lot of the um, Beatrix Potter stories very well because I didn't really. Um, read them very much when I was growing up. My favourite author was um, Enid Blyton. I used to read her stories. I used to have a lot of her stories. Again, I, again, I think I told you that why I chose that one. Oh, yep. And I think that's it for that one. I think. I'm going to chew those, I'm going to chew those. Alright, let's have a look. And there's the first bit. So, you see, you've hopefully got the story intact in the right way around. Oh, that's got another one, I don't yes. So I'll do my counting them. I'm just this count the first and then we'll worry about like stories later. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, that shouldn't be there, 18, 19, 20, 
Three, there's plenty, plenty of pages. And I've got to be all trimmed now to go fit in the in the covers. And that'll make a nice little journal by the time I put um, tags and things like that. And as you can see, it needs to be trimmed to fit inside the book. So I've got to, I've got to measure the book, and because it's not an even number for the book. There's my paper. There's my paper. Let's have a look. Um, six and three quarters across by. Oh, would have to be a tricky measurement. It's not even quite eight. It's sort of two. Two sixteenths short of an eighth, so uh, seven and fourteen sixteenths. That's hopeless. What a terrible measurement that is. So I need to have six, six, six and a quarter maybe by for the inside pages. Do I want to do six? That's an inch, really. Six and a half. So, what's that? That's seven, then that's eight. So, half. Six and a half, maybe. Alright. I'll see what six and a half is. Six and a half is um, here. So, that's not going to be long enough, really. So, maybe seven and a half. Seven and a half, maybe seven and seven three quarters is two. What's this one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't know what that is. Five foot. <laughs> well, that's a quarter. That's an eighth. Eighth. One, two, three, four, five. Five eighths. For the inside, and what's what I say for the for the for the other way? Six and a quarter would be here. That could be all right. Maybe a little bit more because I've got to do the whole punching thing. Six and a quarter is here. Six and a half is there. You probably need to be sort of in the middle there. I might do a um. Six and three eighths, six and three eighths. I'm going to cut a bit of paper and see if that um, is a good measurement or not. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not going to be wide enough. Don't do this one. I'm just going to try and be, be sneaky and do both sides. So six and three eighths is one, two, three. Let's fold it up. So if you have a page like that in your book, would that be okay? Because you've got to put the holes through it, okay? And it'll be alright because it's a hole. It doesn't matter if it's sort of a bit close to the edge. And you know, obviously fold it very straight. Because like, look at this big difference between there and there. All right, and what's I say? Six, five and five, five and seven. Five. Oh, seven and five, eight, seven. And one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't be that. Five, six, seven, seven and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. So look if that measurement works. Fold it on the thing. Oh, that works. 
You must actually worked out, Kay. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, I'm going to leave you there for today and I'm going to be trimming the papers up and we we'll, might come back to uh, where we do the cinch machine and it's been a while since I've done my cinch machine and uh, I got it wrong the first time so I don't know how I'll go this time. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.